fear hit Asorok as President Buhari burst out in tears. Onyx News Nigerian reports that President Mohamed Buhari has mourned more than 20 school children who died in a fire incident in Niamey, Niger Republic. This online news platform understands that President Buhari, in a statement issued on Friday by his spokesman, Gabashew, commiserated with the government and people of the Niger Republic, describing the tragedy as extremely terrific. On behalf of the government and people of Nigeria, we commiserate with our brotherly neighbors on this tragic loss. A message to President Mohamed Buhari. The statement also stated, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims, families, and communities affected by this unfortunate incident, wishing quick recovery to those who were injured. Meanwhile, an earlier report has stated that no fewer than 20 children died on April 13 after they were trapped in a fire at a school in Niamey. According to eyewitnesses, the fire began late on Tuesday afternoon when the children were in lessons, many in straw hot classrooms. The flames blocked the school gate, so most pupils had to escape over a wall. Teachers' union officials, quoted by Reuters, said, Thank you for listening to this news. Tragedy, 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 tragedy. Tragedy in Nigeria all the time. All the time. When are we going to stop experiencing tragedy in Nigeria? Or don't you think that the tragedy we are experiencing in Nigeria is becoming too much? Or don't you think that it's at time something is done concerning the tragedy? Well, this one is very, very sympathetic anyway. I won't say the president is the cause of this very one and um, nobody will put the blame on him. I think um, the only thing that needs to be done in this very case is... Um, the school itself needs to need to be um, need to be called to order. That is the the management of the school need to be called to order. Because um, looking at what was seen as the cause of the tragedy, I would say it ought not to have happened if the school have taken into cognizance some of those things, some of the things that may likely cause a fire outbreak in a school like that. You see, we are talking about a school, a school made up of 200, 300, 400 students. So, you know, in that kind of an institution, we're supposed to have uh, areas that are supposed to be uh, they are supposed to be tagged as as out of out of band. You know, out of band. You understand, and areas like that. The school supposed to make the student to know that they are not supposed to go close to areas of that kind or, or of that such. You understand? So, I think it's one of the things that need to be put into consideration. And again, I suspected that some of these schools, some of these schools don't have extinguisher mounted on strategic areas. Extinguisher is a very important uh, machine that's supposed to always be in a school, even in a car. Even in a car. That is why I would say that the federal, uh, the FIRS should be taking that very serious. Any car 
that is not having extinguisher should be arrested because it's very important in as much as the life of the person that owned the car is important the people outside on the road as well is also important because if anything happens to that person in the car it will surely affect the other people on the road too who knows it will cause a general explosion and it will affect everyone on the road so we don't pray for that and we don't want that to come to play at all you understand we don't want that to come to play so that is why we have to be very 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 conscious and careful with what we are doing very, very careful you see that so this school out fire outbreak i'll tell you um i will say though this is what we got as a report that caused the fire outbreak but then if we decide to carry out a proper investigation you see that some also our son has played a careless role on this part you understand someone has played a careless role but then if i didn't mean there was a there was um a, 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 a fire extinguisher mounted in that school somehow someone may supposed to have lay hand on it and try his best to quench the fire so that is why this fire extinguisher is very very important in schools very very important more than important so let us start looking into that in many schools now in many schools especially be it private or government let us start taking note of that just like we take cognizance of um of 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 the use of uh, of nose mask in school that should also be taken into uh, into notice all right so um right from this very channel we are seeing we are we are we are we are consolidating with the affected um affected uh, school school and um those who um those uh uh, uh who, those who lost their children in the fire outbreak we are consolidating with them and we have um, um pleading that they should uh, hold their whole hearts and um, and uh, try as much as they can to hold their peace okay hold their peace because uh, it has happened it has happened but then trying to to uh to stay away from any subsequent occurrence is what should be put into consideration okay the school proprietors and the, the management should sit up should sit up and work out strategic plans to make sure that anything of such doesn't occur again in schools like that and for the present moment of worry i also um consolidate with him because it never is fault anyway all right um let me hear from you as we have just said on our own channel whatever you say believe you me we go a long way in helping to solve one or two things in what has just happened so if you are new click on the red subscribe button as well as bell button to receive more updates thank you